Welcome to Missing Chronicles, where we delve into the heartbreaking and enigmatic mysteries surrounding disappearances. Here, we will immerse ourselves in the world of unsolved cases, thrilling search efforts, and intricate journeys. The goal of this channel is to spread awareness, foster community connections, and provide support to the families and loved ones of the missing. Join me as we embark on a suspenseful journey, hoping to uncover the truth behind these missing chronicles. Help us sustain and grow Missing Chronicles by becoming a patron on Patreon. Your contribution ensures that we can continue our investigations, share compelling stories, and work towards a world where no one is forgotten. Join us in making a lasting impact today. Mysterious Vanishings in Mount Rainier National Park, Unexplained Cases that Baffle Investigators, According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, there are over 4,000 national parks worldwide. In the United States alone, it is estimated that 270 million people visit their park system each year. In recent times, there has been increased interest in the disappearances that occur within these parks. David Pauaitis and other researchers have raised concerns about the handling of these cases. While there is often initial interest and media coverage, the investigations tend to lose momentum, with some cases being swept under the rug and hidden from public view, anecdotally. I have come across disappearances in the past where Parks vowed to continue the search but later shelved the case, never to be spoken about again. In some instances, families and other agencies have even tried to finance their own helicopter searches, only to be denied entry into the park. Clearly, the parks have a vested interest in maintaining a positive image and attracting visitors, so concluding the investigations quickly becomes a top priority. What is striking is that these disappearances often have unusual circumstances surrounding them. The majority of missing person cases are usually resolved, with the individual found safe and well. However, the cases within national parks defy the expected outcomes. Search dogs, known for their high success rate, fail to locate any trace of the missing individuals. Thermal imaging equipped helicopters, touted for their sensitivity, are unable to detect any heat signatures even days after a person has passed away, sometimes, the search efforts do yield results, but they only lead to more questions. Bodies are found, often in shallow water, with missing items of clothing. In some cases, the coroner attributes the cause of death to hypothermia, but fails to explain the circumstances leading up to it or the presence of certain actions. Strangely, shoes are frequently missing, Further adding to the mysteries surrounding these disappearances, it is worth noting that searchers and rescue personnel, upon reflecting on these cases, often express a sense of unease or oddity. In one instance, a young boy went missing in Pig National Park, and searchers discovered lone footprints and intimates believed to be his. Despite intensive searches lasting weeks, he was never found. The prevailing theory is that the missing individuals may have encountered wild animals or experienced animal predation, but there is no clear evidence pointing in that direction. It is puzzling that neither the missing persons nor any significant clues are located, leaving searchers and investigators perplexed. Initially, the intention was to examine disappearances from national parks worldwide, but a series of cases in Mount Rainier National Park caught my attention. In 1999, Joseph Wood, an experienced outdoorsman and editor, disappeared while hiking in the park. Despite extensive search efforts, no trace of him was ever found, other cases on Mount Rainier followed a similar pattern. John Repker, an experienced climber, became separated from his group during a descent and was never located. William Dresser, a medical doctor and outdoor enthusiast, vanished while snowboarding down the mountain. His body was discovered two years later near a waterfall. Chris Otonas and Raymond Vitali, two friends of Frank Velarde, went ahead on a hike, leaving Frank behind due to the slow progress caused by Frank's large sled. Chris and Raymond never made it to their destination. And despite extensive searches, no trace of them was found. The disappearances on Mount Rainier in 1999 were particularly frustrating for search teams, as they spent significant resources and effort without any resolution. The weather conditions and extreme terrain hampered the search operations, leading to a high level of frustration for searchers and investigators, 
In conclusion, the mysterious disappearances within national parks, including those in Mount Rainier, present baffling circumstances and unanswered questions. Despite extensive search efforts, the missing individuals and any significant clues remain elusive, leaving searchers, investigators, and the families of the missing desperate for answers. Thank you for watching Missing Chronicles. We have explored captivating stories and searched for answers behind the vanished. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest videos. Share these videos to spread the message and assist affected families and loved ones. If you have any information related to the cases we've discussed, please leave them in the comments section. Together, we can make a difference. See you in the next Missing Chronicles.